in this lesson we will cover how we can pass the screen and use it in the component back and forth between the component and the screen so first we will make it uh, navigation uh, screen, screen and component library when we go in library screen and component screen and component okay As usual, it will create two things, the component and the screen for us. Then for the component, we will create a custom property, drop down data. Because we will show it in a drop down. Input type, very good, it will be of type table. <coughs> Now we click here and we modify this. We will have it in this format. <clears throat> okay, so first one would be the text text okay we'll call it screen text the text we want to use to display in the uh, drop down so we will call it any name of scr screen one and then the second uh, column the second field would be the screen and screen here we will put app dot active screen just to use it <clears throat> this is only schema it's only for schema we will use three elements we define the schema of three elements okay ha, i was wondering what happened name of screen two <clears throat> and the third one This is only for reference this is only for a schema to hold the schema information now <clears throat> in the component we will insert a drop down and at the top we'll insert a label no no not here sorry that's it and in the items we will say component one one dot drop down data it automatically picks the text first text uh, field or the column in here so let's go to our screen in our screen we'll insert a label this is the CRE screen one and then we'll insert a component for the component the drop down data we will replace this with screen one Screen 2 and screen 3 will be here. Screen 2 and screen 3. Now there is no screen 2 and 3, so we'll say add screen, add screen. That's it. That should take care of any problem with the screen name. Now, uh, in the component, 
on drop down item on the change on change we will say navigate drop down one dot selected dot screen name not the screen text the screen let's check the component screen yeah so then this is screen here we come here screen one let's run this name of screen one it went to screen two let's put two labels insert label this is screen two and here we put a label this mm -hmm. this why screen three. oh my mistake one more We run this screen one stays there screen two but the drop down is not there so we will again go to screen one and run this to screen three so this is how you pass the value of the screen to the component and the component then handles it that's it